said, we have a bit of a situation right now. Well, I didn't say that you specifically were the fox who lied. I know, but clearly, a fox has told a lie somewhere out there. And maybe if it wasn't you, maybe it was a fox that you know. What fox told a lie? What is a lie? Is it a good lie? Is it a bad lie? Will people be hurt? Lies can lead to all kinds of problems. Let's see, because I just know that this fox is in for problems. Oh, what's he doing? Like underwater, underground? It's springtime in the forest. Da, 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 da. And all the animals are coming out of their homes and gathering at the lake. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's a good day for fishing, maybe a boat ride, a stroll along the, the shore, maybe a little bird watching. Look, the, the swallows are coming back from the south. I just love to be able to fly like they do, exclaims Squirrel, our bird watcher in the group. You know, they say Super Turtle can fly just like a swallow, said Raccoon. Super Turtle's not real, Rabbit exclaims. She is too, and I'm friends with her, Fox declares. Oh, Fox declares that he is friends with Super Turtle? And so the lie begins. <gasps> Are you meaning to tell me that Fox is not friends with Super Turtle? Nope. Oh, no. Why would he say such a thing? Oh, is he trying to show off? I think that might be it. Oh, no. This is a bad idea. He better just come clean. Turn the page. Maybe he will tell the truth on the very next page. Okay, okay. I think that Duck the Dinosaur is being a little optimistic. Let's see, though. Maybe. Fox starts telling his friends all about Super Turtle. No, he's not fessing up. Once she helped me rescue Hedgehog from a big pit of quicksand. Not quicksand, quicksand. Another time she untangled a swallow from a giant spider's web. A giant spider's web. Whoa, do you really know her? Squirrel asked. Tell us more about her. Oh, Super Turtle can soar through the sky like an eagle. Fly like an eagle, turtle, eagle, turtle. And she's as strong as a dragon, says Fox. Early the next morning, Doe comes a knocking on Fox's door. Hi, Fox. Isn't she cute? I was thinking about all that stuff you were telling us yesterday, and it was so exciting, I could hardly sleep. Do you have anything of Super Turtles I could borrow? I just loved to have something of hers. Oh, uh, sure, Doe. I've got tons of stuff of hers. I'll pick something out for you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay, he's, he's, he's really like going with the lie because that's the thing about lies. One lie leads to another lie. And then, and then there will be heartbreak and broken trust and broken friendships and it's going to be terrible. And it leads to a very stressed out Dr. Dinosaur. But if I could just look for a second, how cute is Fox's house? And it's overlooking this beautiful forest and unfortunately it's a house of lies. Later that day, Fox goes out for a walk. He runs into Raccoon in a clearing. Hello, Fox. I was just looking for you. I wrote this letter to Super Turtle. Could you please give it to her? Oh, sure thing, Raccoon. Uh, it would mean so much to me if she wrote back, Raccoon sighs. Well, if I ask her to write you, I'm sure she will. I'll send it to her tomorrow. Fox continues his walk and comes upon Squirrel high up in a tree. Oh, hey, hey, Mouse. Uh, 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 Fox, has Super Turtle ever told you the secret of how she learned to fly? Asked Squirrel. <gasps> well, she sure has, Fox tells her. She even gave me a notebook where she wrote down all her different flying techniques. <gasps> wow, would you let me see it? Well, I'm supposed to keep it a secret, but as long as you promise not to tell anyone, I'll find the notebook and I'll show it to you tomorrow. Oh, no. Fox is just digging the hole deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. 
On his way back home, Fox sees Rabbit and a mouse. Uh, hey there, Fox, Rabbit greets him. I baked this blueberry cake for Super Turtle. Could you give it to her for me? Of course. I'll let you know tomorrow how she liked it. <laughs> Notice the disapproving look up on Mouse's face? Yeah, I do notice that. <laughs> I know something you don't. <laughs> Rodent knowledge runs deep, apparently. And now there's a cake involved. Oh, a lie leading to pastries is just a delicious lie. That night, Fox starts feeling bad about all the promises that he's made to his friends. Only he knows the real truth. The real truth is that he's never met Super Turtle. In fact, he's not even sure she really exists. <gasps> Look at that guilty face. But Fox doesn't want everyone to think that he's a liar, even though he kind of clearly is. Oh, the tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Oh, who said that? Shakespeare, Shakespeare knew about lying. Oh, even Shakespeare knew that lying was bad. And yes, Fox is about to understand the depth of the badness of the lying. So the next morning, Fox gets straight to work. He picks out a nice hat for Doe, writes a letter to Raccoon, jots down a few flying tips for Squirrel, and makes a card for Rabbit thanking him for the cake. He's really still gonna go through with this lie. Did he eat that cake? Huh? <laughs> and uh, I'd like to point out something. Yes, yes, uh, White Rat, what would you like to point out? Uh, he is not alone. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mouse is right there. Oh! Mouse knows what's up! Yes! He is catching him in the lie. He's seeing that all he has to do is tell everyone they're from Super Turtle, and after that he promises himself he'll never tell lies again. But what? He doesn't know that somebody out there knows the truth. And you know how it is when they always say one last lie in the movies? One last ride. One last job. Hmm. It's never gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. When he's finally done, Fox sets out with a big sack stuffed with everything he's prepared, and his friends are all waiting for him at the lake. Even the fish have come out. Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, of course it came out. News spreads like wildfire underwater, which is funny because it's water. We have no fires. <laughs> now his friends are all there waiting for him at the lake. They eagerly crowd around him and he begins to pass everything out and it makes him feel pretty important. Like he's the big guy around town. He's the one who knows a superhero. He's a special connection for all his friends. He's feeling very VIP right now because of his L-I-E. This is so nice of you, Fox, says Doe. Yeah, you're the best, Rabbit thanks him. Oh, it's nothing, Fox replies, starting to sound a little stuck up. You guys would have done the same for me. Hey, Fox, I just had a great idea, says Mouse. Oh, it's Mouse, and you know Mouse knows the truth, so that can only mean one thing. Da, da, da! Drama's coming, and there was a mischievous twinkle in Mouse's eye. Why don't we invite Super Turtle to come visit us? Oh, oh, well, uh, I don't, I don't know, Fox stammers. Oh, what a great idea, Mouse! Squirrel squeals in excitement. I know you can convince her to come, Fox. Three cheers for Fox! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! All his friends cry, lifting him up onto the shoulders. <laughs> and you know the fall is coming next. <laughs> yeah. Fox just can't help himself. He promises that Super Turtle will come and visit the forest tomorrow. No! No! I, I, I cannot believe he will not stop lying. Doesn't he know? I think he's about to know. Oh, no! Poor Doc. All the animals are very excited because they don't know what's really happening. And the next day, they begin setting up a big well party and what a setup it is we have pastries more cake 
fresh fruit, logs for the open fire where we are cooking up some things over the fire, which I love because things cooked over fire just taste fiery. You know what I mean? And over here, there's more decor and, and presents, and they're decorating. They string up pretty banners and balloons and prepare all sorts of sweet and savory goodies to eat. I totally want to go to this party, even though I know it's going to be a dud. But Fox is still sitting at home. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There's a lump in his throat. You know, when you get really nervous and it's like, you almost can't swallow. That that's nerves. And he's so nervous he can hardly breathe. This time the lies have gone too far, too far. What is he going to do? How about tell the truth? No, is that not an option? All of a sudden, Mouse knocks frantically at this door. Fox, come quick. Squirrel is way up high in a tree and she's about to jump. She says you gave her some tips from Super Turtle and now she thinks she knows how to fly. No, this is exactly what Doug was afraid of. No, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Sometimes a lie can hurt your feelings, and then sometimes it can hurt your body. No. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Fox and Mouse run to the tree. The other animals are gathered beneath it, all looking very worried because they know that it is impossible for Squirrel to fly because he's not one of those flying squirrels. If she jumps, she's going to get really hurt. Squirrel, you, you have to come down from there. It's not safe. Fox shouts up to her with all his might. Don't worry, Fox. I'm going to follow every step of Super. For Turtle's instructions, I'm finally going to fly, Squirrel replies. Oh, no, and no, no, and then the birds are there, and the birds are like, what are you doing? You can't fly. You're not a bird. <sighs> Wait, stop, don't do it, Fox shouts again. But what do you mean, why not? Because everything I told you about Super Turtle was... <laughs> It was a lie, a lie. It's come out. The truth will set him free and save Squirrel also. Fox admitted it and all the other animals stared at him in shock like this. <gasps> I know, I did not see that coming. I knew it was not you. Fox begins to cry inconsolably. I'm so sorry. It started out as a little lie, but then it just kept getting bigger and bigger. I promise it will never happen again. Fox, you got all our hopes up for nothing, and that's not nice. Rabbit scolds him, but worst of all, Squirrel could have gotten really hurt. It's all right, everybody. Don't worry. I'm coming down, Squirrel calls to them. Also, Squirrel's outfit was super awesome, and maybe Squirrel can repurpose it for Halloween. Just then, something incredible happens. What? A turtle wearing a superhero mask comes whizzing through the sky. Whoosh! It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It's ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, Super Turtle. <gasps> what? Woo now that's what you call a plot twist. It is a plot twist. Well, you know, we were all preparing for this big party, Mouse explains with a big grin on her face. And I thought my good friend Super Turtle might like to come. <laughs> and that's what you call the rodent ruse. <laughs> oh, the rodent ruse. Super Turtle touches down in a nearby clearing, and all the animals rush over to greet her. Look at her. It's like a combination of Super Turtle and Wonder Woman all in a turtle. Then the music strikes up, and soon everyone is smiling and laughing happily, and nobody, not even Fox, thinks, even thinks, about telling a lie. Yay, yay, because you know what I always say. Oh, that philosophy to which you subscribe, Doug the Dinosaur? Yes, it is. Honesty is the best policy. <laughs>